What is up my dudes and the one girl thinks I'm gonna share with you all my fame and fortune. Joke's on you, I don't have either. This is Bikes, Beards, and Brews. Let's kick that intro. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Before we kick this one off, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification, share this video with friends, share it with family, share it with your local pharmacist. They love this stuff, trust me. So today, I want to talk to you all about five steps to make you a better moto vlogger. Now, before we get into this, I do want to start with a little disclaimer because I'm sure it will be brought up or I'm sure somebody will look at it and go WTF mate um, I'm not the biggest channel <laughs> I don't even have a thousand subscribers I'm still uh, new I'm still finding my footing I'm still doing you know my stuff and I'm still growing my channel organically I'm not trying to buy subscriptions and follows and I'm not trying to like follow every single person on earth in the hopes that they'll follow me back because that's that's not organic and you're not going to have people hanging out uh for too long those those sort of subscribers come and go so today i wanted to talk about five things you can do that will improve your channel and improve your chances of getting those real organic subscribers that are going to be there for the long run um let's start with Number one, and honestly, this one is a huge pet peeve of mine. Uh-oh, train tracks, let's stand. Woohoo! <laughs> um, huge pet peeve of mine. Make sure that you have something to talk about, some sort of plan before you hit the road. Because you, you can't be doing these videos. Like, I can't tell you how many videos I have watched where, like, a moto vlogger is like, uh, I don't know. I don't really have anything to talk about right now. I just needed to get a video out and like, you know, I just thought I'd drive around and I don't know. And, or there's a lot of dead air or there's a lot of like just, um, 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 you know, just a lot of stuff where you could tell that they didn't show up prepared. They didn't do their homework. And quite honestly, as a viewer, you're going to like lose subscribers that way because if you haven't taken the time to find like something to talk about if you haven't like taken the time to invest in your channel then why should anyone watching it like you have to bring something to the table even if you don't think it's the best idea the best concept the best thing that's out there the you know the thing that's going to put you over like 10,000 subscribers in a night you're still doing something it's still valuable to someone somewhere and you you can do it uh, I've heard a lot of people that are just like hey I don't I don't know what to talk about I don't have anything you guys need to spend a little bit of time looking around and paying attention to what's out there I mean quite honestly the last few months alone you're looking for a subject to talk about let's let's talk about the last few months Harley has put out two different types of motorcycles you could have talked about Indian has photocopied another Harley um, Honda has put out the Rebel 1100 the Livewire has spun off into its own company uh, Vorock has put out new butt plugs uh, Engine Hawk has put out overpriced coats there's there's so much stuff. Hayabusa has come back from the dead to disappoint with an underpowered bike. This is all stuff you could have been talking about. This is stuff you could have addressed. And that's outside of like your own personal experiences and your own personal like stuff that you could be offering to the channel. Oh, not sitting behind you guys. Number two in this list. Guys, like don't be doing the same loop all the time and I know I've been kind of guilty of this as well there's there's just times where I don't feel like doing anything but this also goes back to number one um, you know if you're doing the same like quarter mile around the block while you're talking like people are gonna get bored they're gonna look at your videos and go 
Oh look, he's going to the same park. Oh look, he's driving the same, he or she is driving the same circle. Like, oh, I've seen that tree before. You know, it's, everyone lives somewhere that has something that other people haven't seen or experienced that they may be interested in. Figure something out and go do it. I mean, I've driven three hours to go hang out at the Ben and Jerry's factory. Pop that video there. <laughs> it's, you know, it's, it's something that not everyone experiences. So it's something to look at, something to check out. Have some destinations. That's, that's a really important thing for a moto vlog, and it's something you should really consider. Get outside of your bubble. You're on a motorcycle. Go on adventures. Number three, invest in your branding. Uh, one of the things that I see a lot of uh, is there's a lot of moto vloggers out there who at least take the time to get themselves like you know a cool logo or something interesting, and that's really cool. Uh, but they don't follow through with it. Uh, one of the biggest things that absolutely drives me nuts, I watch a lot of different channels, and I know that a lot of like people out there are using the same music, and it's because they're using the same editing program, and they're using the same like sound clips that are available to them. This takes people out of the moment. This people, this takes people away from your video. Think about like your favorite shows, your favorite movies, your favorite like anything. I mean, it's accompanied by music. There's music is part of your branding. So, you know, imagine going to a movie theater and going to see like the Avengers and they're playing Batman's theme song. You're gonna start looking around for Batman. You're not thinking about the Avengers. And it's the same thing when you're doing a moto vlog if everybody's using these same sound clips if everyone's using the same music for their intro their outro it takes people out of it because the first thing they do is they think oh man that's the same song I hear on this guy's channel it's it's not good <laughs> don't do it one of the ways around this is you know find find a local band that wants to like give you some music or you can buy like a single off them for like 50 bucks or something if you have a macbook play in the loops um on, under garage band my intro and uh, a lot of the music that you hear currently on my channel is all stuff that i've made in garage band with the free loops that come with it so yes other people have access to those loops but the likelihood of them making the same song that I made is pretty slim to none unless they're really going out of their way to do it. But that's, that separates me from somebody else who is just like taking, a, you know, song track A, like Angry Guitar or something, and using that, whereas 50 other motor vloggers have also used that. <laughs> it's just, it doesn't help you. It's it's one of those things you want to keep in like a year out and you want to take a little bit of time and just invest in Number four Know when to end your video now I know that as moto vloggers as anyone that's on YouTube You're trying to get those view hours So you can get monetized so you can make money so you can get sponsors fame fortune wealth the ladies <laughs> Whatever you're doing whatever you're in this game for like clearly you're trying to get those view hours but the problem is if you're making these incredibly long videos that are highly repetitive or have a lot of dead space in them or you know they don't there it doesn't lend to the story you're trying to tell you're going to lose subscribers you're going to lose interest you're going to lose viewers people are going to watch your video for a couple minutes and then they're going to drop off and they're going to leave and they're going to go on to the next one. You need to you need to keep people engaged. You need to keep them in in the moment. You need to keep them watching your video. If you can do your 25 minute video in 10 minutes, do it in 10 minutes. Cut out all that fat because you're going to get people that will watch it beginning to end and they're going to be more interactive with you and you're going to get better watch time because people aren't going to be leaving two to three minutes into the video 
when they're just staring off into the like unknown with a whole bunch of wind noise hitting the mic or you know something like that keep it concise guys just uh, you know when you when you're doing that editing just look at it and go does this need to be here did i already say that five times it's kind of like when you get dvds or blue rays or stuff like that and you see all the extras or the deleted scenes and alternate scenes it's because it was stuff that seemed like a good idea at the time but wasn't when it came down to it and if you're unsure of this pick up any dvd or blu-ray and just start watching those bonus features and get an idea of what gets trimmed out in that effort to you know keep their viewers engaged in watching that movie all right guys and my last one and this is the biggest pet peeve for me it drives me absolutely insane and i know i'm not alone in this and that is clickbait thumbnails the ones where like the titles are like i never thought i would do this i never thought i would believe in that oh my god you won't believe what i saw or you know something dumb like that it's going to work for you for a little bit because people are curious by nature and they're going to click on it but after a while they're going to get sick of your crap and they're not going to be looking at it anymore and that's how you start losing viewers and you start losing subscribers and all that other fun stuff like just I, I understand it's a quick easy way to get a pop in subscribers or a pop in viewers but don't do it <laughs> it's just it's not helping you in the long run slow and steady wins the race I mean it's it's true sorry so you know if if you accidentally like dropped your bike in the video and that is literally like 30 seconds or a minute of your 10 15 20 minute video and you make that your thumbnail and you make that the center of your video that's clickbait man and as soon as someone sees that happen in the video they go cool there is nothing else to watch in this video because i just saw the thing that i clicked on this title for in the first place you gotta you really gotta consider that so those are my five i'd love to hear some of yours throw them down in the comments below and uh, make sure you like comment subscribe share this video with friends share it with family share it with that person who keeps putting up all the dumb clickbait videos while they're saying um i got nothing interesting to talk about this week they love this stuff trust me and i'll see you on the flip side